The Stations of the Cross is an art form that depicts the story of the day that Jesus was crucified. At Camp Chestnut Ridge, we have a Stations of the Cross trail with etched glass carvings made by Jim McConnell. And as one travels down this trail, you journey with Jesus towards the cross. This trail is popular among folks to come and walk during Holy Week. But given the COVID-19 shutdown, we know people cannot come here. And so we thought we would bring the Stations of the Cross Trail to you. So find a place that's quiet, that's comfortable, where you can pray and reflect as you walk the Stations of the Cross. With loud shouts, they insistently demanded that he be crucified, and their shouts prevailed. So Pilate decided to grant their demand and surrendered Jesus to their will. Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull. Christ Jesus, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon, and they forced him to carry the cross. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows, and familiar with suffering. Like one from whom men hid their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not.
Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. For the transgressions of my people he was stricken. A large number of people followed him, including women who mourned and wailed for him. Jesus turned and said to them, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. The soldiers put a purple robe on him, then twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on him. And they began to call out to him, Hail, King of the Jews! Again and again they struck him on the head with a staff and spit on him. Falling on their knees, they paid homage to him. And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. They divided up his clothes by casting lots. When they came to the place called the Skull, there they crucified him, along with the criminals. It was now about the sixth hour, and darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour, for the sun stopped shining and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. Going to Pilate, Joseph asked for Jesus' body. Then he took it down. Joseph bought some linen cloth, took down the body, wrapped it in the linen, and placed it in a tomb cut out of the rock. Then he rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. <laughs> 